What is going on everybody? Welcome back outside. Right here we have a little aerator house that we're going to build in today's video that houses the, believe it or not, an aerator for the pond and an EcoFlow battery. We're going to have solar panels installed. I'm going to install solar panels later. But anyway, we're going to show you how we built this. But anyway, if you guys want any of the EcoFlow products that you see right here, use the code EFPD Tyler on Prime Day to save an extra 5% off everything. There's there's some huge discounts, so check them out. I'm going to be checking them out. Might get another battery. Uh, but anyway, today we're going to build this aerator house that, as you can see, or I'm not going to put the roof on, take too long, but it kind of blends in to the barn right there. And it looks pretty sweet. Let's build it. We need to get this aerator pump and this EcoFlow battery into a little system right here under one Ondura panel, Onduline panel, like this. So I have to do minimal cutting. This is going to be kind of skinny, so it tucks right up against the barn and uh, one panel and we're ready to rock and roll. Do want to make sure that the roof panel comes off or rotates up so that we can access the EcoFlow controls. And we also want to make sure that the pump is not blowing hot air onto the EcoFlow. So I want to make sure this is oriented correctly. I think the airflow goes this way. And also the, the, the hose going to the pond comes in this side. So we want to make sure we're something like this. As you see right here, I'm trying to use all sorts of stuff that I already have. Onduline panels. I got some of these galvanized, mini galvanized panels from Menards that I use for a different project. And I got six of these cut down to the perfect size already. We're going to use them on the sides of this thing's onduline panel on the top. So trying to use very minimal product from the store, using scraps we have around the shop to get this project done. And use some of the crappiest looking one buys to make this. I guess that's the state of material nowadays, unfortunately. We're looking pretty good right here. I just added these side guys on here, some funky angles, got some pocket screws on the side. And this is really just to make sure that the galvanized panel doesn't push in at the top here. 
I also think I'm probably going to make like a louver here so that we get some airflow in there. Not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but we are ready to start putting the galvanized on wherever it is, right, right there. Put it white on the back. Why? Because I ran out of the galvanized. Ideally, I think I'm going to paint this to match the color of the barn anyway, so it kind of just disappears right there. Minus the roof, that'll stay the red shade of the underwear panels. But this is some Angeline Tough Guys product that I had sitting up in the attic as well. So I'm just going to put a couple of pieces of this in here. Easy to work with. Good stuff. So I was kind of building this thing on the fly, but I really love it when things work out. I mean, look at that. I actually would have liked a little bit of a little bit more overhang, but uh, that's perfect right there on the first attempt. So not too shabby. Don't look at the back. This is going to be up against the barn. This is going to be what you see. And then, like I said, I think I'm going to paint this all, but got to build a frame so that we can take this thing on and off. Alrighty, I think we're done. I added a little piece right over here because I wanted to make sure water wouldn't uh, get down the edge right there. You can see, tucks into place. Uh, probably gonna have to make sure that doesn't blow away in windstorms, but I'll figure something out for that. But uh, I don't know. I think we got we got a little bit of time to paint it. Problem is, it's gonna take forever to dry because it is super super humid today. We have moved out here into the barn to spray the the same color that's on the barn actually on here. And because this is galvanized, it's kind of shiny, I am using the surf prep here with a squishy sander pad. As you can see right here, it conforms to the galvanized ridges, just to scratch this up a little bit to make sure that the paint sticks. And in an utter sign of profound laziness got extension cords over there plug right there didn't quite reach to over here so i just i just grabbed the ecoflow which was sitting in the in the bar in the shop so that i could lay things out here and uh yeah we're, we're ready to go using some sunlight that charges that sucker up Let's go. you can't tell on the screen here but you can see scratches it's got Believe me on that one. Decided to run the air hose just through the grates in the floor. I mean, why drill a hole? So we got the EcoFlow, got the aerator. Now we got the hose connected in here as well. We're ready to rock and roll. 
Oh, ain't that nice. One other thing I did off camera was I wrapped the feet of this in some T-Rex tape. So it's cupped on the bottom and then wrapped around just so that moisture doesn't creep up into that wood. I did the same thing for a chicken feeder that's out there by the chickens and it's lasted a long time. So that's looking pretty fresh right there. Let's take a peek. So we got the air conditioner for the shop. Color blends right in and kind of tucks away right there. Not too shabby. Pump is running in there off of the EcoFlow battery. As you can see out here in the pond, we're bubbling away. Pond is looking so much better after cutting the weeds, putting a little chemical in this year, and running that aerator pump. But anyway, remember, EFPD Tyler to save off EcoFlow stuff on Prime Day. Save some money. Use that code. I'm DIY Tyler. You guys have a good one.